Okay, so once you have the main harness routed down to the deck plate here, the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is get all of your connections made. Um, if you have the RMM Pro wiring kit, uh, we have some included supplies to make this a lot cleaner. There's a box to hide everything. It goes in the middle here. And then we also have the connectors included. And then these are some uh, zip tie mounts that help you to route the wires and keep them sturdy. Now we're using double stick tape. We're using um, VHB on the boxes. And we also have sent some uh, VHB tape and self-tapping screws for the battery plates. And you can also just go right through this with self-tapping screws if you want. Now the, we also included some alcohol prep pads. So basically you just wanna clean the area with the alcohol prep pad, wipe it down with a paper towel, and then you should be good to go. Okay, got our alcohol prep pads. We're gonna go ahead and just wipe this down in the middle. And off to the side here. Put that down, and then we're also gonna wipe down in this area where we're gonna use our zip tie mounts. Okay, do that. And then take the paper towel, just dry it off. Nice and sticky. Okay. Now we're gonna, and now we're gonna go ahead and mount our RMM uh, Pro wiring box just so that we can space out our zip ties mounts how we want. And if you don't have this box, you don't need to worry about this step. Um, if you don't have the RMM Pro wiring box, what I would recommend is just to mount your battery plates in the middle here and then kind of tuck all of your wiring back in this area. You can just wire it all up and then you can use the included zip ties to just zip tie everything down and it will look pretty clean. Uh, you could technically use this slot here to hold the zip ties, but this is actually for um, a part that we're coming out with soon that holds the grass catcher, so I'd probably keep that free. Okay, to mount the RMM Pro wiring box, it's very simple. We've already pre-applied these VHBs, so go ahead and just peel off the backing tape. one here okay. now I'd like to put mine in the the very center so that it's lined up with the logo here in the slot um, and then the back edge is lined up with this bend indent here. So I usually just kind of tilt it on the edge so it doesn't stick yet, and then line it up to where it's centered. And then don't press it down yet. Make sure you like where it is. See that's slightly off there. And that looks pretty good like that get in the back all right I'm satisfied with where it's mounted now I'm gonna press it down firmly again hold this down for about 15 10 15 seconds and then you should be good to go yeah very very strong okay so now I'm gonna route the wires into the box here I would recommend you put these in at the same time and it's gonna be easier to get them through this hole it's a pretty tight fit so just very slowly kind of work them through so that it doesn't uh, pull the grommet out or anything Okay, so I went ahead and I put the motor wires through first and now I'm feeding the main wiring harness through the hole here and I'm just kind of sliding it through slowly. Like I said, be kind of patient with it. It's not a race. And you're basically just going to pull this to where it lines up, which it's about there. And then we'll attach our zip ties to tighten it all up down. And then now we're gonna mount our battery plates right here. 
and you can use the supplied VHP tape for that. Okay, so I went ahead and mounted my VHP to the bottom of these adapters here. And it's a very good idea to go ahead and put your batteries in to make sure that wherever you mount your adapters, the battery is actually clear and look how you want. This is part of the reason we didn't pre-drill all the holes because we couldn't possibly imagine all the different combinations of batteries, uh, at least at this time in the business. So we wanted you to be able to put these where you need to to make it look right. So pretty straightforward here, just position these where you can fit both of them and where you like the way it looks here. Uh, watch out not to get too far over and interfere with anything. There should be plenty of space. And then once you're satisfied with that, go ahead and just take off the backing and stick them down. And then we'll move on to wiring everything up. Okay, so we got our adapters both mounted and now we're gonna look at wiring everything up. So right off the bat, first thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure that these batteries are wired in series. That means that it's using double the voltage, but same amperage. We need double the voltage to power our 48 volt motor here. So it's very simple to do this. Um, if you haven't done much electrical before, don't let this scare you. It's essentially just matching some colors and connecting some wire. So to wire in series, you're basically going to take the positive, which is the red of one adapter and the negative, which is the black typically, and you're going to connect those across together. I used again, a Waco, Waco connector, and you just wire those together. A lot of times these ends are pre-stripped for you and then you just pull it off and so that makes it even easier. You don't even have to have a, a stripping tool. Uh, if you don't, you can find those on Amazon. They're very affordable. But anyways, wire these together. And then that way you're gonna be left with one positive and one negative from, from each adapter. So basically now they're looped together. We're going to feed those wires through this grommet here. Now, my adapters have a fuse block wired in, which is pretty handy. Uh, the wiring kit, pro wiring kit comes with a fuse block. If you don't have one of those, you have to buy one. Now, you don't have to use a fuse, to be honest. I haven't popped one yet in all my testing, but it is a wise idea because it protects your batteries and other things from getting blown like your controller. So I would recommend installing a fuse block. Okay, so for the wiring, uh, it's actually very easy. There's only a few connections here you gotta make. So the first connections I would make would be the power, the battery power to the controller. So for that, it's the red from the battery adapter to the red from the motor controller. that in firmly and then you just gotta snap it down super easy this is it boogered up from messing with it some but yours should be a little smoother because it'll be new okay got those connected And then the black from the battery adapter is going to go to the brown from the wiring harness. So black here. Push that one down. And same thing here. Okay, so now it's black to black. And then the last connection is going to be the red from the motor to the white from the controller box. 
And I will put a wiring diagram of this just so that you can easily visualize how it goes together, but it is very straightforward. Okay, and we are all wired up. So next we're going to just test it to make sure that we're in business. Okay, we got both of our batteries connected here and we're just gonna double check to make sure that the connections are right and there's no issues. Uh, first, just make sure this is clear of anything. Doesn't, isn't grabbing your towel. We're just gonna barely spin it, so it should be fine. Put the switch on here. Doesn't matter which position right now, we're just checking and then just barely turn it on. Good to go. Now we'll go ahead and put the top on this and then we'll be ready to make some cuts. All right, thanks for watching the RMM electric conversion bracket assembly video. When you're all finished, it should look something like this, depending on which kit you have. We really hope that you enjoy using the product and we'll continue to add more helpful videos along the way as we can. Thank you so much.